So in this video, we are going to see how to use Fury Launchpad Content Manager tool, which is a new tool available from S4HANA 2020 and onwards. So what exactly this Fury Content Manager tool is, uh, it's basically a collection of uh, multiple tools which uh, we have used to configure our Fury Launchpad create the catalog to assign the roles add the tiles so before s4 hana 2020 or before this tool come into picture we used to have different transactions different tools available in the system to manage all of the fury launchpad content sap has come up with this tool and place everything at one place and everything well connected so that you can switch easily from one object to other object for example you can search the catalogs you can switch from catalogs to the tiles you can easily view all of the available tiles in the catalog you can switch to the roles you can switch to assign role pfcg transaction you can switch to maintain service transaction you can you can validate so many things you can even this is the best tool to to identify if something is not correct on your fury launchpad and all of these things we will be seeing in this video and upcoming videos so if you are first time on my channel please consider subscribing to my channel let's start so this tool is a new tool introduced by SAP from S4 HANA 2020 we already know now but what is the main use of this tool so the main use of this tool is to create the catalog to create the business catalog as well as this tool is is to replace the create group and create catalog web based application now the main advantages of using this tool is uh, you can easily create and maintain your business catalogs and uh, you can easily copy the existing catalogs and create your own custom catalogs as well a very easy interface to view all the tiles and roles assigned to the catalog you can easily see all of the tiles inside a catalog you can also see by the role which catalogs are assigned you can easily see what are the catalog assigned to the role specific roles now the other advantage is it is easy to identify the backend service attached to a tile or the application it sometimes it happens we don't know what services are attached to the specific tile and uh, the tile is not loading or having some issues it has a very easy navigation easy interface you can easily identify what are the backend services attached to a particular catalog or a particular tile. It is very easy to analyze the issue related to the tiles since we know what are the services, what are the ICF node available. Every information is present in this tool. It is very easy to maintain the role and assign to the catalog since we have direct access to pfcg transaction here uh, it is very easy and handy to assign and maintain the roles as well so these are some of the benefits or some of the advantages using this content manager tool on the traditional create group and catalog so rather than using multiple different transactions switching from one to another this is the tool sap has come up which has everything at one place now let's see how we can use this tool so now we are in our fury launchpad when you when you come to the fury launchpad click on the fury launchpad the space which is available and then uh, this is the tile which you need to click on you can also go with the fury launchpad content manager cross client or client specific fury launchpad content manager tool so let's click on this tool so now our tool is open here and, and you see a lot of things are going on here it's uh, very busy but on the 
same same time it is very easy to use as well very first thing which we are seeing here is a catalog and then the tiles target mappings and the role available in our some of the previous videos which we are going through on the fury we have created a tile so for applying the tile to the fury launchpad or adding the tile to the fury launchpad we have also created a catalog so let's try to search that catalog from this location because uh, we have not used this tool while we have created that catalog. So let's search that catalog. Our catalog name was this. Click on this and see our catalog is now available here. When you click on the catalog, you will also see what are all the tiles available for this catalog. In our previous video, we have created one tile showing the flight details. So this tile is uh, getting displayed here. You are also seeing much more information, which is uh, this tile is this is a tile and a target mapping is also available for this tile. You can see this then what semantic object we have used, which is available here, what action, what are the title or subtitle here, what kind of application it is, whether it is UI5 application or uh, GUI application, unique Fury ID. You can also search the application with this Fury ID as well. Now, if you move forward here, application component ID, I'm not sure what this is, but uh, this Fury SAP Fury ID is a unique number to identify an application. So these are all the information which is very handy now through this tool. Inside this space only, you will see so many buttons and so many options also available. You have the catalog available and if you have already created a tile you can use this button to add a new tile here and uh, if you want to remove a tile you have this option available or you want to remove the target mappings you have this option available where on which places this tile has been used display the usage in the pages so we have already seen our in our previous videos about the spaces and pages so this is the same concept you can you can search display usage in the pages and the groups as well now in the other function you show the status detail for this fiori kpi tile when you click this, you see this status message, no errors detected. So these are some of the options available and surely we will be seeing how to add the tile, how to remove the tile and how to use all of these options in the upcoming videos. But since this video is an introduction video for this Fury Launchpad Content Manager tool, we will be going through just the options which are available in this. But how to use these options we will be seeing in our next video now to to see what are all things you can do for the catalog so you can create a new catalog you can delete the catalog you can easily copy the catalog you can change the title you can open in the designer view so when you click on this button it will open web application which is we have used uh, before s4hana 2020 now this tool is used to check the services what are all services attached with this catalog and uh, you can also see the roles which are used here let's see what are all services available in this let me click on check and show services we have these three services currently available in this catalog or the application which are assigned to this cat so see this is our service which we have created in our previous video now icf nodes as well what are the icf nodes associated with this specific catalog you can see them here you can see the status as well now if you go back here you see the roles in this catalog what are the roles attached with this specific catalog so z fury role this is the same role which we have created in our previous video 
you can see what rule is there here normally if you configure a new fury tile or new fury application onto the launchpad you very first thing your go to thing is your fury library a web based application from sap and contains each and every detail for configuration a fury tile to the fury launchpad whatever the application sap is rolling out rather than going to that application now if you if you know the catalog at least you know what are all rules are there if the rules is assigned or not you can refer the fury library and based on that you can just play around in this in this tool and uh, you no need to switch uh, from one tool to another tool or one transaction to another transaction so this is the role which has been used in this specific catalog now you can see the role you can open the pfcg you can assign the role or you can remove the role as well and that would affect to this catalog this specific catalog so this was an overview of the catalog tab now let's move to the tiles and target mapping click on this so this tab will show you each and every tile which is currently available in the system all of the tiles are showing up here if you see there are 17000 more than 17000 tiles currently available in the system now another thing which you can do on this screen is you can add a reference to the catalog it means if you have created a tile and you need to assign that tile to the catalog you can do that from this this tab or this screen another thing is uh, you can also check the services what are the services assigned for this specific tiles if i click on this so it, it is showing no services available for the selection so let no services available for this section but you can search for the services as well from here now if you click on this you see the roles which are assigned for this specific tile available here if you select this there may be some other roles see based on the tile you can also look for the roles which roles you need for example if someone is able to see this tile and you are not able to see you just need to come here click on the tile and check the role and assign to that user it's very handy and uh, you can also open the pfcg from here only directly so if you click on this button show usage in the catalog it is not it is basically showing in which catalogs this tile is assigned to so this specific tile is assigned to these catalog these catalog ids and all the other details available here now the third option is roles when you click on this it will show you all of the roles which are available in the system so currently 646 roles are available and for each role what is the catalog assigned to or what catalog is assigned to that specific role you can check here so for example let's see this is the role if i click on this this specific catalog is assigned to these two roles or these two catalog likewise if i click on any other so these are the catalogs assigned right these are the catalog attached to this role so if this role is assigned to any user that user will have access to these catalog ids and the tiles respectively now you can easily copy the role you can open the pfcg you can again check the services you can also show the groups we already have the pages and spaces concept so now show the spaces if you click on this see this is the space id it says this space id is attached with this role or inside this role this space id is attached so if you have this role assigned you will have access to this space id now you can also see the tiles and target mapping anyone is having this role assigned vr ap manager it means that user is having access to all of these tiles getting displayed here so let's see we have created one role this is the role let's see if this is showing our details or not so click on this and see 
we got our role here and uh, we have created this flight detail tile in our previous video so we can see this tile as well here now let's see uh, what service was there these were the service available and then let's see what catalog it has so click on this see we got our catalog here let's see what group it was having so there was no group because we have created space and pages for that so let's see the space see we got our space here now let's see the tiles so this is the tile and the target mapping everything is visible at the single location for you in our next video we will be seeing how to use this tool to create the catalog assign a tile assign a role assign a role to the user and then loading the new tile to the fury launch using this single tool and uh, we will also see how we can rectify if there is any error on to a specific tile if the tile is not loading or not showing up showing multiple errors in the console this is the go to tool for you and uh, we will see all of those things in next video or uh, upcoming some of the videos so that's all for now in this video and uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you